This tutorial will help you post grades in SIS. The first thing you need to do is open SIS. In the menu that appears, select All Classes. And then select the class for which you want to post grades and press OK. The first thing that we're going to do is we are going to make sure that all the assignments are calculated for the quarter mark correctly. In order to do that, please click on Gradebook Menu and go down to Assignments. There you will find Assignment List Filters. Select the class from the drop-down menu. Select the grading period from the drop-down menu. Make sure for this grading period it says first quarter. As we continue on the year, you will need to change those depending on the quarter. Make sure that the number of assignments is large enough to show all of your assignments that you have given. I'm going to set mine to 30. Let's first take a look at the Assignments tab. Make sure that all of your assignments are correctly entered, that they are labeled correctly, that the assignment dates are labeled, and that you have the correct score types. Look at the assignment types. Make sure that you have the correct categories there. Check your due dates. Make sure that your point values for maximum value and your points possible are correct. And make sure your types are correct. If you have any changes that need to be made, you would make them in this screen. And then you would hit Save Changes. For this time in the year, you need to make sure that your grading periods are correct for first quarter. If you have given an assignment in which that assignment counted towards interim grades, then you would need to make sure that interims for first quarter is checked as well as first quarter. If the assignment you gave was only after interims, you would need to make sure that you uncheck the first quarter interim mark. So say for example that project number one I collected and graded after interims had already been submitted, I would want to make sure that only that project was listed under the first quarter mark. After you make your changes, make sure that you click on Save Grading Periods. Next we are going to return to Gradebook Main. There we will make sure that we have the correct flyouts chosen for posting grades. The flyout menu is on your left hand side. Please ensure that you have unchecked show drop students. This mark right here if you leave it checked your drop students will show up and when you post grades you'll be posting grades for those drop students that are no longer in your class. So it's important to make sure that that is deselected then close the flyout window. Our next step will be to enter our comments for our quarter marks which you can find under the report card menu. Hover over report card and select students. Click the link above the quarter mark for edit final grades. And at the time this video was made, the only available grading period in the training site was interim's first quarter. You are going to be operating in the first, first quarter column for this next grading period. But if you want to go in and edit final grades and comments, the way you access it is clicking on this link above the current grading period for which you are posting grades. I'm using interim's first quarter as an example. You are, you are going to use first quarter. Click on the mark. At this point, you would go into the application and enter your comments. You have a list of comments over to the right. You have a choice of comments A through T and then those comments are just repeated again. If you have to override a grade, you would do that in the final grade column. This would only be done for an audit or a pass-fail. In the final grade column, there's a drop-down menu. If you are going to override a grade, this is where you would choose it. Typical classes where there are grade overrides would be in driver's ed, for example. That is a pass-fail class. Um, you also have a mark for T, which is an audit. Here you have an I for incomplete. Any of these grades can be put in as an override. However, it's not recommended that you do that 
unless you've gone into the spreadsheet and changed the grade so that it matches correctly. If you do that, you don't need to override. I would really only do this if you were using um, pass, fail, or audit, or incompletes. If you teach in the middle school, make sure that you have filled in your work habits column. A quick way to fill this in is to choose the first one, either S or N, depending on what you have more of, and then you would just hit the green arrow and it would automatically fill all the comments below for work habits. And then you can go in and edit the one student that may not have a satisfactory mark. It's a little bit faster. You can also do that for any of these comments over here. After you've entered your comments in your work habits, make sure that you save changes. Do not post from this screen. The screen that you need to post from is report cards students. This is where you would post your grades, and again, just to reiterate, this sample is a screen that only allows me to show interims first quarter. You will also have another column, and that will say first quarter. Once your grades are the way you would like them to be, you would hit post, and you will get a message here saying that grades have been posted successfully.